Joining me now is CNN legal analyst and attorney for the DuBose family, Mark O'Mara. Also with us, CNN legal analyst, Philip Holloway. He's also a former police officer. Uh, Mark, first to you, what, what was your reaction when you saw this video? I, my first really was disbelief because I was still waiting after the shot. I was waiting for it to happen because I was actually anticipating some type of an argument, some type of an escalation of animosities between the two. I had to look at it a third time, second and third time to realize the shot happened, in my opinion, with no provocation whatsoever. And as actually, I think, Sam was trying to de-escalate the situation more than tensing was. And now, Mark, we're hearing about this third body camera. The officer's attorney is talking about it. Listen to what he said. I think he has tried to create great prejudice against my client, but fortunately that's what we have courts for because when all the evidence comes out, I think that there will be a different version of what went on here. Mark, have you seen this third body camera recording? There to be from the officer in training that was there as well. I have seen the second one, and I think the second one, which just shows the officer getting up after he fell after the murder, uh, it doesn't really offer much insight to it. Uh, we want all the evidence, not just the video tapes, of course, but it's all going to be very consistent with exactly what happened on the first video, which is an uh, uncalled for murder. Uh, Phil, I'll get to you in just in just one second. I have one more question for Mark. I mean, Mark, uh, what do you make of the fact, though, we know that Tensing's fellow officers are, are backing him up and they're supporting his story. What do you say to that? You know something, I'm very concerned. Ashley, you know I've defended police actions in the past. I think police are great people for the most part. But let me tell you something. When there is one bad cop, you indict the cop. When there's two bad cops, you may have to indict the department. And that second officer lied as badly as Tensing lied, because Tensing lied to protect himself and to get away with something he never should have done. The second officer came right in behind him and said things like, I saw him, he was dragged. This is what, that is horrific. That's as bad almost as the unmitigated murder of Sam when you lie about it. Phil, let me bring you in. I mean, were you surprised at all by the prosecutor's tone? I mean, we heard the prosecutor call the officer's behavior asinine, uh, suggesting as well that he purposely shot uh, Sam DeBose. What, what, what did you think of that? No, Randy, I wasn't surprised at all by uh, the prosecutor's tone because I saw that video. I watched it multiple times. And if the officer was dragged by that car or even knocked down, it's because the person behind the wheel was dead. The video very clearly shows, and video cameras don't lie, it shows the officer firing around into his head before the vehicle starts to move. That is not proper police work. That is an unjustifiable use of force, and it is illegal. And it, it, it may very well be a murder. It might be a manslaughter, but it's definitely a criminal homicide. And, and Mark, is that what you saw? I mean, did you see, um, did you see DuBose step on the uh, accelerator before um, he was shot, or was that a reaction, do you think, from what you could tell on that tape after he was shot? My interpretation was the officer tried to open the door, it got open an inch, and Sam closed it. Then the officer, then he said, what are you doing? The officer, he started up the car, did not put it, there was no forward movement. The officer reached his hand in, that's when Sam's hand was up and the gunshot went off. In my opinion, and I've reviewed it a number of times now, that car did not move forward until Sam was dead, went over yes. to the right side of the car, and his foot Georgia went Tech. forward onto the gas pedal, mm -hmm. and that's when it accelerated out of the scene. And, and Phil, you were a police officer at one point in time. I mean, it's been said that now campus police, yes. uh, the prosecutor was saying this, should not be armed and patrolling campus. Do you agree with that? I mean, do you think it should be left up to the cities? Well, I don't have a problem with campus police officers and, and certainly them being armed. They have to be able to defend themselves. But this guy was hired, Randy, to patrol the University of Cincinnati campus. He wasn't hired to go out into Cincinnati at large and play traffic cop or state trooper. Uh, when I was a police officer at Georgia Tech, we had plenty to do on campus, and we did not need to get out uh, very far into the city of Atlanta to make traffic stops checking on people's driver's licenses. The, the officer was not hired for that purpose. He should have been on campus doing that job rather than being a traffic cop out in Cincinnati. Philip Holloway, Mark O'Mara, nice to see you both. Thank you.
Great. Thanks very Thank much. You. And this